back to my channel and thanks so much for watching. For today's look, I'm going to be doing a very subtle eye look paired with a red bold lip. And this is going to be kind of a fun look for either a red carpet event or something where you're kind of dressing up and want to make a statement with the lip. And I hope that you enjoy. To begin with this look, I'm going to start with this MAC Painterly Pro Longwear Paint Pot. And I'm going to start with that all over the base of both of my eyes. That product works the best when applied with your fingers because of the body heat needed to make sure it blends really nicely. So just always make sure that you're using your fingers to apply it. Next I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Mega Star Diamond Edition Palette. And this palette's really, really pretty. It has a bunch of pretty neutral shades in it. To go in first, I want something all over my lid that's pretty light. So I'm going to be using the color Champagne in the palette and just go all over my eyelid, both of my eyelids. The next color I'm going to apply is going to be the color Naked and I'm gonna just put that in my crease. Underneath my eyebrows for a highlight color, I want to use the color glass. So I'm going to be using a technique called dry brushing and using a fluffy brush without any product on it, I, I just am going to blend those sharp edges. That's really all that I want for eyeshadow. So I'm going to just coat these lashes with a little bit of mascara. I have the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and I really don't actually use this one a lot and it is not better than sex, I will say. I have other mascaras that I like more, but this was just what I had on hand. So I go in with that. It's just a sample size, size one. I do want to pop a pair of lashes on for this look, but I'm going to do quite a subtle natural pair. So I really like these Ardell Naked Lashes. They're kind of more casual and not super big. So I'm going to pop a pair of those on. I like that it's kind of more of a subtle volume and length. As usual with the lashes, I'm going to peel off. So this one is a good pair to teach this with. There's quite a bit of plastic right on here. So I'm going to actually start to pull that yucky plastic off or kind of like that gooey part. Once I have that part off, I'll take my mascara and just coat the band. That's going to help it go on and look a lot more natural and a lot more blended with your eyelashes. So let's glue these on. I'm liking how subtle but nice that one is. So I'll just pop on the other side real quick. I'm gonna just add a little bit of mascara to these lashes now that they're on, just to make sure that they hold in place really well. I gave my eyes a little bit of a wipe because you'd be surprised how much product ends up getting underneath. I'm gonna hop to the skin and I've already moisturized and done my face routine, but I got this sample from Sephora with the Milk Makeup Rip Primer. So I'm gonna try that on my skin first and see if I like it because I haven't tried it before. I do like a lot of Milk Makeup, so I'm assuming I will like it, but we will, we'll see how it is. I do really like it. It's very hydrating and feels good to apply. So that's the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. Very cool. 
I think that that's one I might have to actually get. So moving on, I don't want to do a full face of foundation, but I'm going to just kind of do a few areas with a little bit of a concealer. So I have this one from e.l.f. It's the Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish. So I think that that one will be really nice to apply just under my eyes and around the places that I need a little bit more coverage. But I don't want to do a full coverage everywhere. And I'm going to zoom you guys in just a little bit. So now that we're zoomed in, I am going to go under the eyes a little bit and just kind of, especially in this area where I have several blemishes now from wearing masks, I need to cover a little bit there, but I want my freckles to sh still show a lot for this look. So I'm not going to do a full face foundation. The color that I used for my concealer seems slightly off, so it might be a tad darker than I should have used, but I'm going to try and bronze and bring the bronzer down my neck and stuff so that it looks a little bit more even with my, my chest area. So I'm going to use a lip scrub first, then we'll go in and do a little bit of a bronzer and highlight. The lip scrub that I'm going to use today is Three Ships Vanilla Lip Exfoliator. So I'll just scrub my lips. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, contour and highlighter and blush. I have this Mashbox Cali Contour Kit and I haven't used this one in a really long time but I'm going to use it for my cheekbones and use the blush color that's in the palette and the highlighter that's in the palette. So just all powders. Sometimes I also bronze down to my, like my collarbone area because you want your chest to really match your face and not be, because if you were to take a picture, you don't want kind of a floaty head. You want it to really blend really nicely into your neck and into your chest. And so if you match your foundation to dark or too light, you can always correct it with bronzer. In the same palette, they have a really nice blush color. It's just a very light and subtle color. You can use it kind of like a bronzer, but I'm just gonna put that on my cheeks. In the same palette, they have a highlighter color, so I'm gonna put that mostly just in my, around my temples of my, of my cheeks. So I really do like that. It gives a really nice highlight and glow to the face. That was a child <laughs> screaming in the background. <laughs> My husband's with them in the basement playing, but you can still sometimes hear them scream. So that is just life around here. <laughs> I'm gonna hop to my brows next and today I just I think I'm gonna keep them very understated and subtle so I'm gonna use this fab brows duo and I got this from a friend of mine who just uh it, I guess it wasn't her color and so she gifted it to me which I was happy to accept I'm just gonna mix the two colors in it and just fill in my brows a little bit That's probably as dark as I'm gonna go for the brows just because I, again, wanna keep them very understated. So that's all I wanna do for the brows, just keep them really soft, really understated, kind of more of an ombre powdered look. So uh, that's what we're gonna do for that. Next, I'm going to jump to the lips. So the main, focus of this look is going to be this red bold lip. I want to line my lips first with a lip liner. So I have this Milani color statement lip liner in true red. So that's what I'm going to use for this. It's a very punchy red color. And I'm going to start by uh, lining my lip. So 
So I filled the lips fully in, but they're not super symmetrical yet, but I am going to use the Guerlain, a Guerlain red lipstick. It's really, really pretty. And again, like super punchy. So this one here, these lipsticks are so fancy. They have, they come like this, like they look like a little metal, uh, they have a metal casing with them. And I've flown with these before and I always get stopped at security because the metal's pretty heavy duty, so they go off pretty easily. And I love how red this color is. And and these lipsticks, uh, Guerlain is such high quality, a high quality, brand that the product is so creamy and so nice okay so I think that that's pretty balanced and even that's the look so I I'm not going to actually go in and do any eyeliner because I wanted my eyes to stay nice and bright and open looking and kind of gives that like really nice almost like a very subtle Hollywood glam look. Really quick to do if you, you know, if you wanted to be going out somewhere, but you only have a few minutes, it's a really quick eye to slap together with a bold lip. So sometimes when I'm, you know, like in a hurry somewhere or I just want to add like a little bit of glam to a look, I will just kind of play out my lip and then leave the eyes super fresh and super natural. So even if you were coming from work one day or something and you had, to head out you could just like literally add this bold lip and you're done you're ready to go so kind of a fun look and i hope that you enjoyed this and i would love to hear your feedback in the comments below thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time